Yo guys, it's Chris here, back in another video. This is the third episode of Blank vs. Nordschleife. Uh, we have done the NASCAR and a 1000 horsepower limo. Um, if you haven't seen those two videos, make sure you check them out. They are definitely good and funny. And today, we'll be taking a Honda Odyssey, but this is no normal Odyssey. This is a Ricer V8 1000 horsepower Honda Odyssey. So, I just want to show you guys uh, the car here. Um, so, my predictions of it, 1,000 horsepower, 235 tires. It is front wheel drive, 901 torque, and 4,600 pounds. I think traction is going to be terrible. This thing's going to drift everywhere. But I think it's going to reach the highest top speed uh, of anything in the series so far. We've got 195 in the NASCAR, 195 in the limo and the straight. Uh, and in fact, let's see what this compares. I think it'll be a little bit quicker than the limo. Limo got an 8.48, NASCAR got a 7.19. I think this will get somewhere in the 8.30s. Uh, but we'll just have to see here. Let's go into the Nordschleife here. 12 miles of this. And it just sounds amazing, doesn't it? Sounds just like a Honda Odyssey. I am very slow. Ricer, do you like what it looks like here? And I cannot see over my car. This is amazing. Oh, this is a struggle. The gearing. A stock transmission. Stock everything except the engine, and it will not turn. Let me go into a uh, first person. I think this would be better. Um, well, dude, what is going on with this engine? Alright, so definitely not off to a great start in the Odyssey. I did not think this thing is this bad at turning. What kind of turning radius is this? That's max lock? Oh my. This thing has no turning radius whatsoever. That is max turning. What is this? Oh my, this is going to be absolutely terrible. It's going to be just like the limo on the street where... Are not gonna be able to turn it. Oh boy. I definitely think first person's a little bit better. We might actually just have to e brake every corner now that I think about it. This supercharged V8 is something else. Seven gears in this thing. Our front tires, that's why we can't turn because we're front wheel drive. Forgot about that. Said I kind of have to drift everywhere. Break, break, break. No. Oh, please do not recommend me any more front wheel drive cars. Alright, come on, Odyssey. You can do it. Turn. See, it might be easier to turn when I'm not pressing throttle, because then we can turn a little bit more. From uh, front wheel drive, obviously. Break, break, break. All right, use the walls as your favor, Odyssey. Please turn. Please. Nope, now I gotta turn this way. Oh my gosh. Dude, I thought the limo was bad. Said so you guys are picking cars and make me look like bad drivers here. How many gears does this have? Nine, ten gears. 10. Oh my. I was just testing out how many gears it has, and it has 10, and okay, the time physics play our favor. Alright, we are already almost at 3 minutes. This hurts. This really does. Turn, please, turn, turn, turn. So glad we put it in the first person because third person would be absolutely terrible. I'll go in the third person when we go to for our, on the straight. Maybe 10 minutes from now at this pace. Although, like, we're not going too slow. I mean, any Odyssey going almost 100. It's crazy. Fan section. I was at 250 in the limo, I believe. We are currently at 330. Once again, I don't know my benchmarks because these are recorded on different days. 
so I can't really tell all too much. Please break. Okay, we're gonna e-break instead. Oh my, this thing. This machine. No wonder it was banned. Because it can't turn. No wonder people ram in this thing. It has like a 10 degree steering radius. This is the first time I ever drove this, by the way. I just bought it before the video. Even though, like, I, I had the DLC, but I never bought the car. It was banned in multiplayer. And I don't play career mode that much. Alright, four and almost a half minutes here. Oh my. And we are about at the halfway point, so we're. We might get under 10 minutes. It's gonna be close. So we're at the halfway point, we do have a slow portion of the track coming up, and then we do have the straight. So it's really anything's possible here. Alright, we're getting towards the carousel. I'm starting to feel for the car a little bit more now. Higher gears, it's a little bit easier to uh, control. Although you have to put in low gears to turn and basically not accelerate, which is everything a NASCAR, or why do I keep saying NASCAR? Everything a race car should not be doing. Let's also put the barriers at e brake there. All right, almost at the carousel. This is gonna be really interesting. I saw how bad the limo was. I'm just gonna chuck it into second gear. Look at that, what a racing line that was. That is slow. You're supposed to attack that thing at like 70, and I went at 40 miles an hour. Oh my. I will tell you though, front wheel drive in this V8, it does get up to speed quickly. And that is the third time in a row we cannot hit that corner. This thing is a wall machine. It just hits walls every single time. I can actually use the curves this time because I won't mess up the car, but I actually need to stay on the track to be able to do that. Uh, which uh, you, has been an issue so far. I'm just hitting every single wall at this point. I don't think you guys can recommend any slower car. Please don't. Let's get some decent cars. I mean, the NASCAR was a decent idea. Maybe IndyCar. I guess you guys do like to see your funny things just to make me mad. <laughs> oh, by the way, this was recommended by d -Fills. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. Uh, recommended by d -Fills. Check out his Instagram, d.fills. So, uh, yeah, make sure you guys check that out. Uh, he's the one that recommended this. I will have uh, whoever recommended the different things in the next episode, uh, which is going to be an interesting one to film. And you guys are just recommending the worst things at this point. Alright, let's slam on the brakes here. That does not work. Come on, dro uh, gravel. Slow us down. Seven minutes. The NASCAR finished. Almost right about now. And we are not even on the straight hit. <laughs> Get in there. Stay on the track, please. That is not the track. I can tell we're getting closer to this straight because it's getting a lot more open. But I'm sorry if you guys just keep thinking I'm just hitting the wall on purpose. Like, I mean, I mean you guys can see there's no turning radius whatsoever on this car. How do people drive this in real life if it doesn't even go around once? Like, if that's max steering right there, like right here, that's max steering, how are you allowed to drive this in real life? Oh, we're on the straight. Let's see what kind of speed we can get. Will we head into 10th gear? I don't know. Currently in 7th. Let's see. Oh, it's getting there. 196, we are quicker than a NASCAR. And 197, and oh wow, we actually keep it. Wow, oh no, we're not on the track anymore. 
I guess they, uh, we almost kept it there. Let's, let's just break all the way until the end here. That's kind of just gonna how it's going to have to be. We're almost home free here. And a cross. Ugh. The V8 Odyssey. Something else. I will say that. It was slower than the Lemo. I actually thought it wouldn't be. It got a 901. 901.157. Is this see on the chart that puts us in last? NASCAR is still winning, but maybe not after next episode. We'll have to see about that. Uh. Let's see where we're on the leaderboard. Yeah, 121 still. Because of the Caddy Lamo. Okay. Uh, see ya. See you guys. See you guys next time. And peace.